Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will start or show you a different way by which you can achieve the linear regression. So what I'm going to tell you is the stat models package, which helps us in uh, doing the ordinary least square, which is uh, another name for a linear regression. And uh, you know, you can use that. And the best part about why you should use that is because uh, it presents all of the output in a beautiful summary so that you don't have to really create a data frame or you know access each variable by f accessing its method so for example in the previous videos we have looked at r square and uh, we looked at the score method to fetch it in case of stat models it produces that summary which is uh, expected or needed to really evaluate the result in a nice format so we will uh, see it how we can do that but in this video first of all i want to show you about a uh, quick overview of stat models uh, package in terms of how you can load the data and access the data in this package so that you can get some familiarity all right so first of all uh, you can do stat import stat models stat models dot api as sm and uh, let's access the some data sets and that's what i mainly want to show you in this video that from the stat models dot data sets import so we need some data to really work on the uh, stat models package so either you can import the data set from the uh, in you know inbuilt data set that it has like uh, cancer or some population data and all about and uh, you can also get uh, data from outside or from other libraries like sklearn we have used the boston housing data set to form the linear regression so here in this case let's import it something from here so maybe let's go ahead and just get the cancer data over here let's go ahead and execute that so it's executed now if i just put cancer it will not show us the output so what we can do is is uh, fetch the data by using the load data method so you can load the data in two ways one is the uh, form of numpy arrays which basically uh, machine learning like scikit-learn really expect as well as you can load the data as part of as part of pandas so it has both the function so let's give a name as cancer data and see cancer dot if i press so it has a lot of uh, values like absolute path copyright data and then cancer dot load load pandas so load is basically going to load the data in the form of numpy array and load underscore pandas will form will load the data in the form of uh, pandas format like a normal data frame so let's go ahead and load it shift enter now if i just try to see let's say cancer data again it is not showing us the data but it is saying that it's a data set from the stat models so what i need is basically data property so this is my data property uh, all of that data in the form of uh, an array and if i just press the tab you will see that uh, it has a couple of properties like uh, data and uh, if i go down it should have something called as values dot if i go down there show you yeah so it has values uh, as one of the property so if i simply write like this values and access the method it will give me the data set for this thing so if i want uh, to access the x and y values which is required for the uh, for the machine learning then what i need is basically if i simply write uh, over here if i simply write cancer underscore data dot so it has two properties and dog and exog so exog is basically the x-axis data and or x-axis variables data 
or n dog is a y variable. So let's go ahead and press n dog. So this is the value of my y axis. So that's the thing you need to remember. And uh, x dog is basically your uh, x axis data. All right. It has the property of name as well. If you want, if you are looking for name, so n dog is your y axis and the name is cancer if you need the name for x-axis then you need to write x of name and its population so x-axis is population based on population you are predicting the cancer is what it is basically saying all right so that's about it and uh, the next quickly uh, i want to show you is the cancer underscore pandas to load the this data as pandas all right if i just show you can serve underscore uh, pandas and execute it it will not show anything but uh, if i let's say show you the data it's in the form of the uh, numpy uh, um, sorry the pandas data frame so again it has uh, if you see it has n dog and it has exog so that way you can access the similar property so that's mainly i wanted to show you because that's an important sometimes people get confused when they are starting with a new package hope this helps you giving a quick overview of uh, how you can load the data from stat models package and then access its uh, properties